In the late 1960s, when Norelco dealers started selling cassette decks that required amplifiers and speakers, they came up with little display units to help the customers uh, practice with them and free up time for the salesman, I guess. I think there were four of these different ones for different types of units. I found a little something in Billboard magazine I'll insert a little clip of here and we can take a look at it. You can pause your YouTube player to read this. This is a rather large unit and it's kind of interesting that it's designed in general to look like a home entertainment center. Kind of a long wood grained just the way a home entertainment center would look. Uh, little fake doors here. These are real and they do work. Your volume, balance, and tone controls. Little fake headphone jack. Uh, AM FM radio dial with tuning strength indicators. Little speaker select things. Some interesting detailing there. One thing I think would have been nice is if they had uh, done something similar to this and used a little turntable emblem up here. I think it would be fun to have a little turntable on top. Two speakers in here. Up the top we have our stand for the 2500. Why it's painted blue I don't know. And there's a detail they got wrong is the holes for the feet on the 2500 are round on the uh, demonstrator, but in reality the 2500 has a square foot. So a little misplanning there. So they don't fit in there a hundred percent perfectly. Let's take a look around the back. Alright, on the back, in general this is what it looks like. Phono plugs going down here. I'm going to unplug all these as we go. Well, I'm going to take the back off in a minute. Then there's a accessory jack, electrical outlet here for the 2500 to plug into. And we have a standard Norelco electrical um, plug there to operate the uh, audio board, I guess. Down here, another silent salesman. And we have a cord wrap. And the electrical cord has a thumb switch here for the overall unit. So let's uh, open it up and poke around inside. All right, looking in the uh, back here. Let's see our power inlet, our jacks. Holland speakers 12 of 69 it looks like amplifier board there what are those 5080 Z8 speakers 12 of 69 so the inside is pretty simple All right, we have the 2500 plugged into the auxiliary outlet, patch cords into the jacks, and we've hit the thumb switch on the demonstrator.
right, that's how a customer may have used the Norelco dealer's cassette demonstrator to look at an N2500 stereo cassette deck in the late 60s. Hope you enjoyed it. And I do have a complete video of the N2500 uh, just before this in my video stream, so feel free to watch that if you want. And thanks for watching this. Bye.